Tech Tuesday, bringing you all the news I think you want to know. If you don't want to know it, then move to one of those many I can't figure out the VCR homerooms. Number five, the power of blurry cell phone pictures of electronic ads is really surprising. This photo of a Toys R Us ad set for the last week of September shows the Nintendo Wii dropping $50 to $199. This undoubtedly is because the PS3 and 360 dropped to only $300 in the last few weeks. So the temptation of spending an extra 50 bucks and getting a real hard drive and the ability to play real games must have really scared Nintendo enough to want to increase the price gap. This also means that a new, better Wii with a hard drive or something special may show up at the original $250 or $300 price point. Regardless, don't buy a Wii until the end of September, something you didn't have to tell me since I don't plan on buying a Wii ever. Number four, Western Digital releases info on its new line of portable and standard external hard drives. All of the new drives feature smaller, sleeker looks and LED lights that display the amount of remaining space. They also are packaged with some new security features in case your house gets robbed. With larger, faster speed drives at lower prices, who won't want to pick one of these up? Sizes range from 500 gigs to 2 terabytes in the non-portable and up to 1 terabyte in the portable edition. Release is set for October. Seems to be a lot of don't buy this yet news this week. Number three, been waiting to finally make that investment in a new entry level DSLR? Well, I'm just nice enough to go and find one that may work just for you. The Pendex KX is the newest and cheapest DSLR available, which shoots in 720p video. The KX features a 12.4 megapixel sensor, up to 12,800 ISO, and one six thousandth of a second shutter speed. Pretty decent for a DSLR at only $650. You can also get it with a kit including a super zoom lens for only $750. Did I mention it comes in this awesome blood red color? Yes, you can stick with the boring black or white, but it's blood red. Take it to a Guar concert and shoot, and you won't even realize how messy it is. Number two, as if your laptop wasn't already fast enough, wait. Laptops can never be fast enough. What was I thinking? In the coming months, laptops will be available with i7 cores. These top-of-the-line chips offer the latest and greatest in processing and speed. They aren't exactly cheap, but they feature turbo boosting and automatic overclocking, along with higher hyper-threading. To sum it all up in a non-tech language, a laptop with 2.53 GHz quad-core, 8 gigs of RAM, a high-end graphics card, and Vista 64-bit is nearly matched by a 1.73 GHz i7 with only 4 gigs of RAM, a cheap graphics card, and Vista 32-bit. Okay, that was still really complicated. Expensive computer with better specs, almost matched by a cheaper computer with lower specs, but with an i7. i7 win! Number one, Scribblenauts. Need I say more to those who had this game pre-ordered and got the free hat? So the concept is, you have to help Maxwell get through over 200 challenges in a world full of monsters, lions, and disasters. But good news, any object you can think of, you can use. Just write a noun and it appears in the world for Maxwell to use. Need to fly? Try wings, or a helicopter, or a hot air balloon. You need to beat a leprechaun in a race? Make a pot of gold to distract him, or set a bear trap to slow him down. Overall, there are 10,000 different objects that you can have appear in the world. You can literally play for hours just on the start screen, writing anything you can think of and seeing what happens. And that's before attempting any of the challenges. There are dozens of Easter eggs as well. Try LHC or Monorail Cat. Anything that makes me put down Call of Duty 4 is first in line for DS Game of the Year. That's all for this week. Um, send me anything on the Tech Tuesday fan page on Facebook or YouTube or all those other fun interweb sites. Till next week, I'm Liam Spore. Goat. Wonder what Gatto would make.